Hello. So the topic of the day today is what went wrong with my video project, which I have, um, it used to be called, the, the playlist used to be called Seeing the Big Picture, and I changed the title of the playlist to the 180, um, because it will have 180 episodes. Um, I think less went wrong than went right, but there were things that went wrong. My physical health has improved, but not uh, as much as I would have liked. I haven't really lost, I started losing weight at the beginning and then I just stopped losing weight. So I'm sort of at this kind of plateau, which is still more than I want to weigh. Um, also, I didn't really, I, I didn't really change very much about my my diet. <laughs> Gee, I wonder if there's a connection between those two things. Um, so I was, I was at the beginning, I was drinking too much and eating too much. Um, I drink less now, but it's probably by most standards, it'd probably be too much. Um, and I don't know if I eat, I guess I must eat too much. Anyway, um, <clears throat> But I think that the, the regular exercise has benefited me. At the beginning, I was doing more walking than cycling. And this is one thing that, I, that, that did go wrong, is that I should have stuck with the walking more than the cycling. Because physically and mentally, it's actually far more beneficial than cycling. Um, and from my perspective. Uh, because, you know, when you're walking, it's actually... Uh, you use a lot more you use different muscles. You use a lot more energy, I think. And if you're uh, cycling, you're just kind of sitting on this bike all the time, you know. Um, I actually looked it up, and um, it, I think I might have mentioned this in a video about like a million years ago. The difference in how much energy it burns is down to whether you're comparing distance or time. So to cycle for an hour is more energy than to walk for an hour. But to cycle for a mile is less energy than to walk a mile. Obviously, this is because of the difference in the speed of cycling versus the speed of walking. Um, and at the beginning, I was walking for an hour every day. Um, I remember I had problems with my feet and all this kind of stuff. I got new shoes, blah, blah, blah. But then I kind of got lazy, and I started to just get on my bike and go out do it that way and some days I would just go out make a video and come back it wasn't even I was out for very long which I thought was you know kind of pointless so I was cutting corners that's the that's the takeaway what went wrong is I started to cut corners uh, and the thing with cutting corners you know you don't just like cut corners once you, the, you it's, it's like you successfully cut corners until you're really dealing with a very small thing. Um, I find it kind of hard to express myself today for some reason. Um, what went wrong? I was going to originally had in mind to kind of develop the series of videos more, and I didn't do that. I had a couple of one-off things that were kind of slightly different format. I had the meatloaf special, which was fun. Um, and I did some stuff like that, but I would say um, I didn't really develop them at all. So if I look at the format of the first one on day one, that was me sitting on my, at my desk, speaking into my phone. And I think uh, the last one before this little and you know, wrapping up series was outside, but it was just like me talking to my phone. So I never really got, and I never really involved other people very much. I never kind of expanded it. I didn't develop it. I didn't take it anywhere. And I think if I had, I probably wouldn't have gotten bored of it. And I would have probably gotten more out of it because I would have been incorporating input from other people and stuff like that. So that was down to me cutting corners and being lazy. Let's be honest, that's what it is. I'm not lazy with everything. I'm not like an absolutely lazy person, but laziness, like with everyone, is part of my makeup. And in this 
instance, um, it crept in. So, um, things that went wrong. Cutting corners, not doing the walking, not developing it, being lazy. Um, and the fact that my physical health has not dramatically increased. I think my mental health has, incre has uh, improved a lot since the beginning of the project. That's definitely true. Um, physically, not so much. But, you know, I have hopes. Uh, the, the whole thing is that the, the project is going now into a different, kind of totally different space. And that is going to be, instead of me making daily videos, it's going to be me for the next couple of months focusing entirely on my um, filmmaking course. And then after that, I sort of on the back of that, I'll be putting my energy into hopefully doing some film projects, which I will be sharing with you, or at least telling you about them. Um, I also had an idea to do a podcast with my friend Brenda. We wanted to do something kind of funny, like cryptozoology podcast, where we would go and look at various cryptids in every episode and then talk about how crazy the whole thing is. So that's something we're kind of sending messages back and forth about doing. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm kind of feeling like I'm not expressing what I really set out to express in this video, which is what went wrong with the project. Am I denying to myself, even now, as I'm wrapping it up and speaking about it, am I denying to myself what went wrong? I think what went, probably the biggest thing that went wrong is that I didn't reduce as much the drinking as I should have. Because I think if I had, I would have had more physical energy, probably more focus, uh, probably would have lost more weight, stuff like that. So that's kind of, I guess, the elephant in the room. But, you know, I had big problems with uh, alcohol a few years ago, but uh, it's not like that anymore. It's much, I mean, it's totally different now. It's like stabilized and everything like that. Because I think my life has changed, you know, I was um, working in a very stressful environment and uh, had, I don't know, I was kind of had all these bits of scaffolding in my mind holding me up and keeping me going and I don't know, I just kind of fell back on drinking because it was like, you know, an anesthetic against the itchy sweater that we call the human world. Um, but uh, now that I'm kind of uh, not in that situation anymore, I don't, it's not so itchy, it's not so aggravating, and I don't drink so much because I don't feel so distressed or agitated. Um, so, but I do think, I do think like, you know, I'm carrying too much weight and I don't like it and it's holding me back, it's making me slow. So in that sense, that didn't really change that much through these, the course of these videos. Although, like, my agility and my sort of physical energy is definitely a lot higher than it was at the beginning. Um, and I can kind of bounce around a bit, get on my bike or go, some, go places, in the, you know, with more ease because I've been doing it. But, um, yeah, the lard is still there. Um, so maybe this summer I'll be able to, you know get outside more and do more exercise, burn off some more calories, lose a few kgs slash lbs. Um, yeah, I, I feel like I'm, I'm, there's still something I'm not hitting the nail on the head and I don't know why that is. I don't know what it is. I'm not able to kind of like identify and zero in on that did not work about this project. But I think it's probably more important to focus on what did work which is more than what didn't work, I think, and to focus on where I'm moving in the future, where things are going now. And that I'm very much like, that's all happening. I'm very much focused on that. That's very much like alive. The autopsy of the past six months may be inconclusive uh, is the best word to describe it. But um, yeah, anyway, um, we tried. If I think of anything else, I'll probably just I don't know what it is. What did I, what did I not, what, what, what went wrong? What went wrong? Well, I 
I don't know. I can't think of it. it. Feels like I'm denying something. Feels like I'm not saying something or holding it back, but I don't know what it is. Uh, maybe just a f vague feeling of being unsure about whether it really did change anything. But um, I know that it did, so analyzing what didn't go right. At the end of the day, does it make any difference if I, if I know that? I think it's more important to focus on what did work right and on the future. And that's me repeating myself now. So on that bombshell, I will say thank you for watching, and I'll be back tomorrow with the next installment of the One Week Retrospective on my 180-day challenge. See you then. <coughs>